the next tip I'm going to show you is very very cool I'm going to show you how to squeeze a bit more extra monetization out of your blog using this search here so how can we squeeze some extra money out of our search well what we can actually do in heat map is we can change the standard WordPress search into a Google custom search with AdSense it's really really cool and so anytime anybody comes and searches on your site they're going to be searching using Google and Google is going to stick some ads on your search results and you're going to make a bit of extra money there okay so how do we go about this I'll just show you a quick example of a site that's already got this in place so you can see here on Creativity Pro I've got my custom search already in place so I'm just gonna type in a search term and click on search and then Google's going to come back with search results from my site plus ads all built in within the theme template it's pretty cool so I'm going to show you how to set this up now the first thing you've got to do is head over to your AdSense account now you'll notice here I'm using the old style AdSense interface some of you when you log into AdSense might notice you have a new style beta interface but for some reason AdSense for search isn't available on the new style interface so you have to switch to the old style and there'll be a link up in the top right hand corner of your screen so you can do that if you've got the new interface also an extra trick you need to know at the moment Google seems to have a trouble generating uh, the AdSense for search code if you are using Firefox or um, Chrome or some other browsers but Internet Explorer works so just for this task I've just switched to Internet Explorer I don't usually use Internet Explorer anymore but uh, just for this task it actually happens to just work so there's a tip for you if it's not working for you in Firefox okay let's get going so I'm gonna click on AdSense for search and first thing it asks us is which sites we want to uh, select for searching well in this case it's gonna be my authority blog so I'm going to type in HTTP seem to have boxing gloves on my fingers today authority auto blog dot com so that's the site I want to search optional keywords don't need to do anything with that site language leave it site encoding we'll just leave that and we'll leave it to the United States and we'll have it create a new channel for us automatically there's nothing risky on my site so just get rid of this little box from IE thank you and uh, then I'll press the continue button okay valid URL what have I spelled wrong HT ah here we go <laughs> told you I had boxing gloves on my fingers <laughs> okay here we go so next we need to select the look and feel of the uh, the search box that we're going to have I'm just going to leave it at the default uh, because that will blend nicely I'm also going to just change the text box length to slightly shorter I'm going to make that 19 characters the reason being is that if if you have a shorter box uh, on your navigation bar it just means that you've got more space for menu items on your menu bar because if it's too long if the search box is too long and you have too many menu items uh, the menu items will push the search box box off the page so let's continue and so now what we've got to do is we've got to specify where we want Google to return the results to so what we want uh, Google to do is open the results within our own site so this is the option we want so see if I can remove my boxing gloves again and start typing here we go dot com and I'm going to call the page that is re returned into Google results and I'm going to make this 950 pixels wide I'm going to choose to have my ads on the right now if we wanted to blend the search results we could change this palette to suit the theme but I'm just going to leave it at the default for now and I'll press continue okay so next thing we'll do agree to the terms and conditions give it a name so I'll call it 
AA blog in this case and then I'll press the submit button and get the code Then we just wait for a second and then hopefully fingers crossed and here comes the code snippets so you'll notice there's two bits of code there's one for the actual bit of the uh, form that goes in the menu bar and then there's some code that gets returned into the results page so next I'm going to nip over to actually what I'll do is I'll cut and paste this code here so I'll copy that press control C and what we'll then do is we'll go into our heat map options and we will paste that code into the appropriate spot and I'll show you where that is in a second wakey wakey and here it comes and I'm just going to go down to Google here on the Google tab and there's a spot for the CSE results search code so I'm going to paste that there and then I'm going to get back to Internet Explorer and get this one control C and I'm going to go back to results code here and press control V and paste that and save it okay so we're just saving that so the next thing we need is a page into which to return the search results so we'll make that in a minute when this is finished saving okay so we've saved that now so now what we've got to do is create our page so I'm going to go into pages and we're going to add a new page so let's make a new page and we're going to call it Google results so if we just wait for that to appear and we'll give it the title Google results And that will give us a permalink with Google dash results in it okay now I don't need to add any content to this page all I need to do is change the default template to a Google search results template and then if I click publish then we'll have our template set up called Google results that will respond to the URL with Google dash results in it and that will give us our search results page so that's done now so all we need to do now is test it so here we are switch back to our authority auto blog page and notice we now have a wonderful Google custom search box here instead of the standard WordPress one so let's type something in make money we all want to do a bit more of that don't we and I'll press search and let's see what happens and any second now it should come back with some wonderful results from my site as we can see here all the results from my site plus some monetizing ads which are linked to your AdSense account so if anybody clicks on those you're gonna make some extra money so if you haven't done it already I recommend you go ahead now and you install a Google search on your site just to squeeze the extra bit of monetization out of your website.